okay guys so we'll look into this question so the question says three metallic solid metallic spheres whose volumes are in the ratio 2764 and 125 were melted to melted and recast into a sphere the sum of the surface areas of the three spheres is what percent more than the surface area of the newly formed sphere two things cat has this habit of asking you problems uh, mensuration problems volume problems from the areas which are very matlab volume of a cube everybody knows volume of a sphere everybody knows 4 by 3 pi r cube okay something of this sort but abhi total surface area mein confuse ho jayega theek hai kyunki total surface area bada hi uncommon sab cheez hai so cat has this habit of you know asking questions like total surface area of a you know let's a uh, sphere और लैटरल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ अ फ्रस्ट्रम समथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट तो मतलब ये थोड़ा सा रिविजन कर सकते हो आप इन चीजों का ठीक है एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट जितने भी फॉर्मूलाज हैं मैंसुरेशन इज ऑल अबाउट फॉर्मूलाज बट इवन इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मेमोराइज यू कैन स्टिल अराइव एट मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स बाई कॉमन सेंस ओके एनी वेज दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन थ्री मेटालिक सॉलिड मेटालिक स्पीयर्स उस वॉल्यूम आर इन द रेशियो ट्वेंटी सेवन सिक्सटी फोर एंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वॉल्यूम्स बेसिकली वी वन वी टू वी थ्री एंड आई नो दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पीयर इज गोइंग टू बी फोर बाय थ्री पाई आर क्यूब इफ आई जस्ट यू नो एलिमिनेट द फोर पाई पार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ दीज आई कैन गेट आर क्यूब इज टू आर क्यूब इज टू आर क्यूब आई कैन आई कैन आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग द वी वन वी टू वी थ्री इन द इन द नोटेशन आर वन आर आर वन आर टू आर थ्री ओके आर वन आर टू आर थ्री सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज रिटर्न ओके ट्वेंटी सेवन सिक्सटी फोर एंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इफ आई हैव टू ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस आर क्यूब आर वन क्यूब आर टू क्यूब आर थ्री क्यूब इन टू आर वन इज टू आर टू इज टू आर थ्री ऑल आई नीड टू डू इज आई नीड टू प्लेस अ रूट ओवर ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके बट दिस इज दिस इज द क्यूब रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन रिमेंबर दिस थिंग ओके दिस इज नॉट स्क्वायर रूट क्यूब रूट क्यूब रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन इज नथिंग बट थ्री क्यूब रूट ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर इज नथिंग बट फोर एंड क्यूब रूट ऑफ Uh, 20, 125 is nothing but 5. A very easy thing. These are the ratios. I'll I'll tell you why this is important also. Now, one more interesting thing. When three separate quantities are melted to form a single quantity, okay. So there are three quantities, or rather three, um, uh, let's say three spheres. when i melt all of this into a single sphere so basically what i am doing is i am destroying its ka individual capacity its ka individual capacity its ka individual capacity and i am transforming all of those capacities into a single one or capacity is the is a analogous term to volume so basically i am adding all of these volumes i am adding all of these volumes to make the new volume okay or the newer one okay so 125 plus 64 is 189 189 189 plus 200 209 209 plus 7 okay so that is 16 216 so 216 is the vol uh, volume of the bigger cube if you want to call it the bigger cube okay 216 now obviously the radius of this one will be if you if you do your mathematics you will be able to see 6 ka cube is 216 okay everybody knows this also now they have asked you about the sum of the surface areas of the three small spheres is what percentage more than the surface area of the newly formed one okay so uh, that is one of the let me get some space yeah so what is the total surface area of a sphere this is very uh, you know this is the only area which you cannot come by simple analogy that is 4 pi r square okay 4 pi r square is the area again i will not consider this 4 pi because this is common and all of these are ratios remember all of these are ratios so if i if i have to take the ratio of the first uh, sphere i can just 
you know take it something like a 3x and this one can be taken as a 4x and this one can be taken as a 5x doesn't matter so 4 pi r square for this one will be i'll just write the square ver version of it so this will be 9 plus 16 plus 25 okay and obviously there will be a 4 pi which will be taken common okay so this is the total surface areas of the three spheres and now i need to calculate the surface area of the newly formed sphere and that will be square of this thing so 4 pi into 6 ka square is 36 okay now 9 9 plus 16 is how much 25 25 plus 25 is 50 4 pi again i am supposed to ignore the 4 pi 4 pi because they are just you know constants so we'll eliminate that and the difference between 50 and 36 50 and 36 so 4 and uh, 14 okay 14 on 36 14 on 36 if you if you calculate 14 on 36 you will be able to get the value now obviously because these are uh, given in this form i'll just quickly do that 14 by 36 okay that is 0 0.38 yeah so 0 0.38 becomes 38.8 888888888% so 38.9 so this is going to be my answer i hope this made sense